Apparently my arm is lazier than me, because it falls asleep sometimes when I don't. Sleeping limbs! We all know the feeling. You're sitting there in class, or you're sitting on an airplane, you're sitting on a bus, you're sitting in a movie theater. Usually you're sitting, and all of a sudden, while you're sitting there enjoying yourself, you feel this little slight tingle. Might be a tingle in your foot, might be a tingle in your hand. That tingle, that feeling of pins and needles that you get, is called neuropathy. Neuropathy can be caused by either a lack of blood flow to a certain area of the body, or a general pinching of the nerves. Basically, what happens is, if your nerve is pinched, let's say that this wire makes this speaker play music from my hand. Let's say I were to pinch off this wire. Now that it is pinched, clearly the messages from my hand cannot reach the speaker clearly, thus making the speaker sound fuzzy and not the way I want it to sound. This is a lot like what happens when your arm or leg falls asleep. Because your nerve's pinched off, and your nerve is what controls your arm or leg, and will let your arm and leg send signals back to your brain so you know what's happening to them. Tell me what is happening, Mr. Hand. Tell me with your nerves. Therefore, when your nerve is pinched off, much like the speaker, you will get mixed messages or fuzzy signals that you won't understand, but will come out like pins and needles. The other night, I had a very, very, very interesting experience with neuropathy. You see, I woke up in the middle of the night. at approximately 4 in the morning to feel a severe pinching sensation right about there on my elbow. <gasps> I quickly lifted myself up out of bed to see what the problem was, and I found myself unable to feel or control my right arm. My right arm was hanging loose and limp by my side, and I could not lift it for the life of me. What is going on? I actually had to pick up my arm a little bit, wave it around with my left arm, until I eventually felt the warmth come back into my hand, and I was able to slowly begin to move it again. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I was honestly afraid for a few minutes there that my hand might not work the way it's supposed to anymore. But as you can clearly see, both my arms work fine now. I might have a little bit of nerve damage. <clears throat> Stay there. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed my little story about being terrified I've lost my arm. And if you have any embarrassing stories about having an arm or leg fall asleep, let me know. I would love to hear about it. Might make a good video later. So anyway, I'll see you next vlog. See you later.